Happy Sunday, witches. Today's card poll is from our Witch Oracle card deck, written by Angie Solins. Artwork is by Silas Tabal. Today's note from our Witch's Almanac is that the moon is in Sagittarius. Goddess of Grace. The Goddess of Grace is a benign ruler whose principal gift is kindness. And rather than doling out judgment or punishment when one of her people commits a crime or transgresses against another, she encourages her people to gather around the lotus fire. The offender is brought to the fire and there all the members of community name every good deed and kindness that the offender has ever performed since childhood. In this way, the wayward soul is brought home to herself and her community rather than ostracized through retribution or shame, which is something we know way too much about. The offender, once remembered back to her inherited worth, is then held accountable for her actions and required to make amends, but with the support and kindness of the entire village who understand that this was a faulty action, not a faulty soul. People make mistakes. How are we going to handle it? A woman in total control of herself follows that same example of grace towards herself and others. When her actions have gone astray or caused harm, she reminds herself of all of the goodness that is within her own depths, allowing herself to drink from the chalice of human kindness. But she is also willing to take action, cutting away the shame and the sting of her own transgression with the sword of accountability. She makes amends and resolves to do better. As Maya Angelou once said, you do the best you can with what you know, and when you know better, do better. Having practiced this compassion towards herself, the woman in total control of herself is able to extend this grace to others, offering both chalice and sword when she has suffered an injustice by another. Today's challenge, what can you hold yourself accountable for today? Reminding yourself that it was a faulty action. It is not because you had a faulty soul.